Hello you. Time to play some creatures. Or to give it its full title, Clyde Radcliffe exterminates all the repulsive earth-ridden slime. And that's my original copy. Uh, oh, come on. That's my original cassette. But we're not going to load it from cassette. Oh, hang on, there's a receipt in here. Hey, hey! Let's put the light on. Bridge End Com Computors. Bridge End Computors. 22nd of the 1st, 91. 9.99, 10 pounds standard, one pence change. So, 26th of the 1st, 91. I think that's pretty much the re when it was released. And I think this is probably the only shop copy in the shop. I didn't get a lot in. But, uh, yes. And yes, I do have the bug somewhere. The fuzzy wuzzy that came with it. I collected bugs at the time and somewhere at home at my parents' place there is a um, big sweetie jar filled with them. Uh, come back to that anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm going to load it from the hits too, because I have that on disc. In fact, that's that's handy. That's the exact one we need. That's the creature's disc. Also have snare and heat seeker. Uh, I have heat seeker over here. I have heat seeker on disc as well. Got that from Bridge and Computers as well, I believe. Uh, yeah, so I've got. Snare and Heat Seeker, Summer Camp, Snare and Heat Seeker again because I found a spare copy elsewhere and Retrograde but unfortunately that version, that copy doesn't want to work because there's a little dent on the disc somewhere and it stops it bloody loading. So I would really like a working disc copy of, of uh, Retrograde at some point. But no matter, we are here to play Creatures, he says as he drops the disc on the floor. It's going to go well. Put that box back there. <coughs> Put the disc. There we go. Let's pop it in. And let's do fast load. Let's have a look at the contents of the disc. Boot two. Menu, oh, two is. Menu makes sense. Game. Uncle Clyde. What's that? Clyde needs your help. Right. Okay. I've never seen that before. That wasn't on the cassette version as far as I'm aware. Um, just a picture. Nice picture, but just a picture. So let's um, reset. Uh, let's just fire up. First thing, please. Hiccups, excuse me. Turn the lamp off. Oh no, hang on a minute. Let's <coughs> v. Watch yourself, epileptics. And ooh, let's put that down there. Let's read the destructions from the cassette version. Because it's here to hand. Wish. Yes, I, I used to collect bugs or fuzzy wuzzies as they were called in this, and I had a large, I say a large collection, it fit, they fitted all into a um, large sweet jar, you know, like in the shops, quarter of jelly babies, that sort of sweet jar. Let's turn that down a notch. There we go. Hey! Roland's Brothers again, they did some good stuff. But yeah, I had um, Yeovil Fleet Air Arm Museum. I had a Saturday Superstore one, and they all had names, apart from the Saturday Superstore one, who had a number. He was 01811885 and of course I had Clyde Radcliffe, and he went to that. I should have kept him in the box, but I've kept him with all the other bugs, and now I've got to hope that the mother hasn't thrown out that jar of toys that she was in. Uh, loading instructions, yeah, we don't need that. <clears throat> Here we go. Out in the nether regions of deeper space, in the far bottom right of Milky Way, lies a small, insignificant planet named Blot. Although a pretty place, it's deserted after its inhabitants were forced to flee from an awful fate, being called by such an unhit name as Blotium, or Blotion, perhaps. As soon as they were able, they built a crude but sufficient colony ship, and sputtered off into space in search of a trendier planet. Until such a place was found, they renamed themselves Fuzzy Wuzzies in search of real hitness. Unfortunately, a collision with an asteroid led to a crash landing on Earth. As luck would have it, they landed in some blue wobbly stuff, commonly known as the Pacific Ocean, next to an undiscovered island. After the Fuzzy Wuzzy swam ashore, they promptly began building a village and named the island the hippest place in the known universe. What the Fuzzies didn't know was the existence of bad-tempered demons living on the far side of the island. These demons were arranged, enraged by all the noise made by the cheerful Fuzzies and hated even more the ridiculously silly island name. You know, I'm with them on this so far. 
The demons came up with a cunning plan to put an end to the commotion and generally good time being had by these intruders. They invited them to the biggest party ever held on the island. Fuzzies cannot resist a good party, and all of them brushed up their fur and attended. But as they were starting to enjoy themselves, the demons threw a net over a few and cut them off to their torture chambers. In big, bold letters, that. The only one who wasn't caught was Clyde Radcliffe, a tanked-up little fuzzy already throwing up in the bushes. The next morning, Clyde woke with a splitting headache and breath so bad it could scorch a tree at six paces. Nevertheless, our courageous little hero vowed to destroy the demons and rescue his fellow fuzzies. And, yeah... <laughs> Complete levels, pick up potions. Apt makes Clyde jump. Fire is depressed, Clyde will fire. If using the current weapon, if fire is held down for a second and released, Clyde's bad breath will be used and he will breathe a large flame. Pulling down on the joystick, then pressing fire will present you the weapons tablet. Keeping fire pressed, left, pressing left and right will enable you to view the weapons. Or releasing fire, select right. Okay. Note only the weapon purchased in the shop will be displayed in the weapon, weapons tablet. The weapons grade is indicated by its colour red, grade 1, green, black, and grade 2, blue, grade 3. Shop, fire, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's all of that. <laughs> and apparently, I've not tested this, if you hold down control and two, I'm not seeing anything happening. Maybe it's the next bit. Fire to load. We hadn't actually got anywhere at that point. Wait. <clears throat> Quick swig. I'm actually having Dr. Pepper for once rather than tea because it's too darn hot for tea. Uh. Hey, insert side B and press fire to start. Oh, I'll get up out of my chair again. <laughs> and there we go on the other side and aha, press fire. I am using PowerPlay Cruiser. Giving that a good workout now that I've got it. Although I think, um, actually I'm not sure whether I would have been using the Powerplay Cruiser or the Quick Shot when I got this at the time, because <clears throat> pretty sure I had both then. So, aha. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I remember this from the tape version. I don't think it had that load of it at the beginning. Nice colourful graphics, nice dancing fuzzy wuzzies. Still looks pretty good to this day, to be honest. He's a nice sprite, he's still Clyde. Yeah, Zap there at the bottom of the list, because they, there was the um, diary of a game, wasn't there? This was uh, along with Paradroid and. Oh, what was the uh, Morpheus and Hunter's Moon? This was uh, was this the last Diary of a Game? Because it was quite late in the day, wasn't it? But uh, yes, there was a Diary of a Game for creatures, and was it a good read? And obviously, people, I don't know, but did, did people go? Oh, obviously you gave it a gold medal because it was a, your your diary. I think possibly having a Diary of a Game meant that people had to kind of make it a decent game, didn't they? Or they chose people who they knew were going to write good games to do a diary. It's not like they got someone from CRL or something like that to, to do a diary where they went, oh, it'll do, there we go, check it out. Or also with Ocean, I suppose. In a lot of cases. I'm just going to let this music play out and then try that Control 2 thing, because apparently that's a cheat mode that I've never known before. So just enjoy the music for a bit. Uh, 27 years ago? Blimey. Yeah. While we're waiting, I guess, yeah, I've got... Got Creatures 1 on cassette. And then I've got Creatures 2 on cassette as well. I've got the rush seat in that one. No, no receipt in that one, but I do have a registration card. Never used. So 
Well, I'll do Creatures 2 at some point, but that'll have to be on cassette, because... I don't know if you can hear that. There's Creatures, but no Creatures 2 on disc. Unless I've got a hooky copy on disc somewhere. I know I've got um, each of the levels backed up. When I when I completed one level and loaded the next one, I froze it using my cartridge and saved it to disc to make sure I could not have to start again from the beginning. Um, I know I've done Retrograde a few times before, haven't I? I haven't done Heat Seeker. I've got that on disc over there. I haven't done Snare. And I've, to be honest, I've had a quick look at Snare. I went, ah, oh, I can't handle this. Uh, and Summer Camp got there on disc and I've got winter camp on disc and I've never played them so uh, who knows maybe I should focus on cracking on through uh, the Thalamus games because I think I've only I've only done retrograde and armalite haven't I oh no I've done Qdex I've still got Hawkeye on cassette over there Hunter's Moon I've got a budget copy of Sanction I'm pretty sure, I've, yeah, I've done Armalite and Retrograde, and that's about it, isn't it? Oh, sorry, Qdex, Armalite, and Retrograde. Yeah, so still plenty more to go. I would like to do um, Arak, the Arachnid Droid, before I do um, Heat Seeker, but I don't seem to have a copy kicking around anymore. I used to have one, but uh, no idea where that's got to, so maybe I'll pick up another copy of that before I do Heat Seeker, because Heat Seeker is kind of the sequel. <coughs> Excuse me. Seems taking a while, isn't it? Oh well, you can skip ahead if you like. <clears throat> I'll just have to sit here and wait as the battery runs down on the camera. Fortunately, I have another one charging. He says as he looks down and sees the lights behind him. Well, it was charging. Hopefully, that means it's full. I should have set this going for a while before before filming. Hey ho! Like I said, you can skip forwards. Oh yes, and then I've got. Oh, I almost forgot. Where's that now? Where did I put that? Yes, I also have this copy. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do have Creatures 2 on disc. I have this re-released version that came with the um, last disc drive that I got, along with. Mayhem in Monsterland. But I, I, I might save that for when I've got um, CRT all hooked up for the uh, funky colour effects and things to work properly on the type of TV display that they were designed for. I've only ever played... i played it a little bit, my, Mayhem, on main Not main C64 emulator on the Xbox and just went, eh, it's not quite as fancy as I, you know, it was supposed to be. That people rave about, but... Um, We'll see, we'll see. I, I want to actually give it a proper go on the 64 rather than emulated. But uh, yes, I'd forgotten. I have Creatures 2 on disc, so you can do that sometime. Cool. That's the problem when you get so many games, you forget what you've got. <coughs> Aha! Sounds like the tune's fading out. Uh, slowly. When you're ready. Come on team, fade out, fade out. And I can still hear it there faintly in the background. There we go, they've gone grey. That means something apparently. Let's press fire. Right, collect those beasties at the bottom there for magic potions. Let's have some music on while we're doing this. Uh, 
by something we've got sound effects and we've got music. <laughs> there we go. Quite a slow paced game, but um, that's fine. That's got him, let's jump across there if we can. Ah, there's a beastie we want to play. Let's see if we can shoot him from above. Death from above! There we go. Let's go around this way. Oh, bum! That was silly. God, he's going to take a while. Phew. This is my thumb was starting to give out. Right, can we... Torch him. There we go. There we go, I can go and get him now. Before he goes off the screen. Ah, damn you. Dum -dum 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 -dum. It's pretty how I died straight away there, whereas it's like I lost a shield the first time. Oh great, I'm back at the beginning again. Yes, you do have to be careful on this game, there's no jumping around. I'm hoping. Ah. Hoping for the best. You've really got to not do stuff like that. He doesn't seem to be flashing now when I hit, when I hit him. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh yeah, Nobby the Aardvark! There's another seat. Thalamus game that I played, I completely forgot about that. But then the graphics on this reminded me. Because it's all kind of pretty, isn't it? Cartoon-like. Let's get him up there so I can then do death from above on the... Oidy. Let's try not to hit this guy this time. Phew! Right, now we've got to defeat these guys again. Balls. Right, well I had a shield there at that point, so... And they died quickly this time. Right, I don't need to go up to the top there now. The top left, rather. Let's avoid the... Oh no, I'll need to go down to get that. Down. Phew. Toasty. There we go. Now we've got one of those. That's nice. Oh, now how are we going to get past here then? Aha! By using a fan. that another time. Oh, get up there. No, come on. <laughs> there we go. Right, torch him. There we go. And... Oh, that's why that's there like that. Well, we'll get that first. Talk to this birdie here. Go and get to that. Doing all right for ingredients. He went a bit quicker. Oh, you can kill them normally then. They just take a bit. He looks a happy chappy up there. There goes my phone, should have put that on silent, shouldn't I? 
Aha, another one of these bits. Right, I'm guessing I'm supposed to jump over him. Don't stick me at the start. Do not stick me at the start. Thank gold. Right, let's see, can we... Oh no, you can just about do that, can't you? I remember now. Phew! Thumb. Aha! Nice! Poop. <sighs> Come on then, let's do this bit again. Right, you remember where I had to be to... Phew. Oh, it's not going to give me more. Ta right. Any more? Oh, he died on one. That's nice. somehow. Ah. Come on, there's got to be a bit here. Let's go from there. Nope. You know what, I'm going to leave him. I'm leaving that one behind. Let's jump past this. Oh, there we go, there's a... Poop, the battery died on the camera and I didn't notice. I've no idea where I left you. But um, let's carry on, eh? Yeah, I'm still at this point. Let's see if we can get past this bit again. Phew. Not going to give me any more, is it? Nope. Let's slowly whittle these down. Come here, you. I do wonder how you get up there. Another one, so even though I collected it before, I collect it again. <laughs> Just those bonus ones I can't do. Right. Let's get rid of flying birdie up there. And then where does he get to? He gets to about here. I'm assuming chase after him and then jump over him at the last second to end up on the grass. Here goes nothing. Ah! jump a bit later next time. Let's have the uh, music off for a second just to see what it's like, eh? Right, well we've just got the sound of the waterfall, I'm guessing. It's getting louder, nice touch. Done. Bear in mind, I've got infinite lives on here. <laughs> and yet we persevered with it. And completed it all without cheating. Or well, I did anyway, and I'm sure lots of other people did. But... Oh, lost me first there, then. Oh, too damn close again. 
Right, let's see if I can get to that beastie without losing my first hit. Not like that, I won't. Right, come on then. Phew, right, got him this time. Let's try not to get hit. I'm guessing I could have jumped up there. Maybe, but... Whoa, almost forgot. Almost, almost too close again. Come on, come back here. Right. I might as well go across there. And get myself another magic ingredient. Let's kill the brain bug here. I think how a pair of googly eyes makes something look fine, doesn't it? And it's actually a giant maggoty worm thingy. Right. Out here. A bit closer. That's as close as I want to risk it. And... Oh! I still had a shield. I could have just ploughed through him, couldn't I? Duh. Let's go again, then. All this other stuff that you want to go and explore down in the caves and stuff. But nope, it's just there to tempt you, but... getting to the end of the level and the witch that gives you the weapons. I can't even remember how many levels there were to this game now, but um, seeing as how long it's taken me to get off the first limit level, I can't, can't complain about lack of money, value for money. Okay, let's... next one. Ay 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 ay. Let's get going again. Let's try not to die at this bit. No, stay away from the tree, Rob. Stop going so close to the blooming tree. his breath. Put to good use yet again. And can we make it? Yes we can. Tasted maggot anyone? Or a little owl thingy, whatever you are. Ridiculous. And no doubt I'm going to die shortly after and get set back before that as well, aren't I? Right. Surely I should be. No, it's still too close to the tree. Not even just to the left-hand side of the tree. Just stay clear of the entire tree roll. Come on! 
vulnerability cheat would have been nice. <laughs> right, don't go too close to the tree, Rob. Let's try that. That was quite close. Cock. And come on then. Yes, I'm still going to go across and get that other ingredient. It's just there, you know. You'd have to leave it behind. Should we ever get to another level, it might be handy. Right. Uh, oh, that looked closer to me. Maybe. Hopefully, was that a bit closer? Am I? Am I getting any better? Right. Try not to lose your shield. That's better. Now don't lose your shield roll. Now, nice and easy, slowly and steady, we will get there. pretty graphics and the general gameplay, the actual details, they're all rather fuzzy-wuzzy in my brain, you might say. Right. Had I lost a shield? I can't remember now. Can I just plough through him? Should we give it a go? No. No, I can't just plough through him then. Okay then. Here we are again, happy as can be. Right. Oh, balls. I thought I'd try and jump off that and maybe land up there, but no, apparently that's not how you do it. I mean, I've managed it in the past. I know I have, because I did this without cheating, so I would have done this over and over and over again until I cracked it. Okay. Gotcha. Do not die immediately, Rob. Like it's uh, doing, having any effect on him. How the hell am I supposed to get past him? Oh, hang on. Look at him up there. Ha ha ha! The two were linked. I thought he was going to drop something on him, but there we go. Let's just do it like this. Let's clear him. Right. Oh, how are these things going to work? Okay. 
they just could die like everything else. Like a toad in a lightning bolt. Or whatever the terrible line from X-Men was. What happens when a toad gets hit by lightning? That's it, isn't it? It's one of Joss Whedon's lines, apparently. And if you say it right, it actually is vaguely funny. But the way they got um, what's a face to say it, they missed the joke entirely. You know what? Sod you. Holes. Oh, I hope I've passed the bloody restart point. Oh, thank God for that. Yes, apparently it's, uh, you know what happens when a toad gets hit by a lightning storm? She then hits him with a lightning storm and then goes, <laughs> same as anything else. Not the same as everything else, like it's a threat. But there we go. Complete random aside. Uh, come here, so you may be toasted. I'll take a bit longer with those, don't that? I don't have to go left then. Oh, we didn't die. Now we will. There we go. Right, let's get the hell away from that. Now, where's that thing going to spawn from? Right. Okay then. Let's get going before he respawns. <laughs> don't know if that's how you meant to do it, but it worked for me. That doesn't do anything. And they're not close enough either. Oh, you are, okay. I'll get the other one out of the way as well. Apparently not. Bum. No, can't get you. So I'll just have to follow you carefully. You know what, I'm gonna get, no. I'm just gonna go up here. Let's see if I can. Yes, I can, I can get him from up here, and that birdie's not blocking it. Right. <coughs> Should have nipped down there before he came back, but there we go. I just realised I still a lamp on here, let's turn that off. Ooh. Oh, you... Oh, well. So full of nasty surprises this game. That looks like an extra life down there. Oh, sneaky. I have 20 thingies. Now, can I fire myself out of there? Yes. Because <coughs> I needed that extra life, didn't I? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Getting extra life is particularly on the throat. Okay, he's not going anywhere. There we go. I can get him when he comes back next. Apparently not. Maybe on the next one. He is flashing, so he is taking some damage. Okay, you appear to be waiting there with a fizzing stick of dynamite. Oh, you evil buggers. Oh, you... How am I supposed to jump with him up there like that? Oh. Can I get him? Yes. It's going to take a while. Oh, no, that's okay then. Right, no need to go to the left because oh, I could get myself an extra life again. Oh, wasn't expecting him to come through there.
trying to power up. Oh, okay, it's still counting me hitting the end of the level as I've completed the level. Thank gold for that. Now, loading level 1.2. Ah, it's the sexy witch. Hi there, my cute bundle of fluff. I'm glad you're doing well. You're taking the piss, love. I hope there is something here that takes your fancy. Ha 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 ha. Right, we can get a droopy. We can get a super droopy. We can get a fireball. We can get a fall up. We can get a wiggler. A curly whirly. And an increased flamer. Yeah. Oh, and it's scatterball. Information give you tips on something to do now. Um, well, let's go with something like a scatterball to start with. Oh no, we can't get that because we didn't get enough of the pink ones. the flamer. That might be something. No. Yes we can. We can do that. Um, what do we want? Something like a wiggler. Um, let's increase the wiggler. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, we'll try a curly whirly. We probably can't get that one now. Okay, let's... Um, <clears throat> let's, let's have another angle of droopy. What else can we get? Um, get that. We'll increase our normal one. There we go. So there's nothing else that will take the four and no others. But we've got plenty more for next time. Six, six, and six for information. Jeez. Exit. There we go. Woohee! How long is it going to take me to get up this level then? Creepy caves followed by watery falls. Spent a long time thinking up those names, didn't I? Right. Right, so I can now fire like that. Like that. They're super droopy. Don't droop quite so much. Now I can fire those <coughs> that's slightly green now. Hmm. I think I'll stick with the more powerful droopy one for now. There we go, let's, uh... There we go, they go a nice long way ahead of me. That's good. Ah, fall up, possibly also would have been a good one to go for. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> just get to him? No. Poop. The annoyance of single way scrolling. Well, we'll be adding that, thanks. Can I shoot through there to get to him? To do Aha, yeah, that's doing something, I think. What? I do not know, but it's a good idea to shoot him anyway, just to make sure, to make sure that there's a clear door that's, that's opened up, for, up ahead, I'm guessing. At least I've got um, forward firing now, so I can, uh, uh, let's have that one. So I don't have to worry about trying to jump over him. All 
Right. And there we go. Bam. I knew he was put down there for a reason, that one. Let's have a droopy. Jumping around and just let and die. Can I go up here instead? He's going to take a while, is he? Nope, not too bad. Can I get him through there? Yes, I can. Oh, nice! And an extra life and a ingredient bug thing. Um, I think I can stand on the end here safely. Yeah, just about. Right, any more? Of course there are. Um, let's change to that so we've got something. Floating really fans. Oh. Right, I can't change while on the lily pad, so I'll change on land for that, and I'll just shoot him from the safety of land. Thank you very much. Fuzzy was he's learned to swim. Oh, you. Right, droopy, droopy firing. Oh, come on. I'm kind of glad I did put infinite lives in on this, but it's taking forever, isn't it? But we'd have never got to see anywhere near as far as this if I hadn't put infinite lives on. Blimey, he 
takes a bit. Okay then. Phew. Right, back. Let's go with that far, right? Let's bring it on screen. And just bubble in repeatedly. <coughs> Do I want to be going up there? Is it just an extra line, which is kind of pointless at this point, or...? No, it is just an extra line, which is pretty much pointless, but... Um, yeah, I think I need to change to a different shot. Oh, I can't change to a different shot because I'm on the bloody leaf. Great. This is going to take a while to hit anyone, isn't it? Well, I got one of them. How far does he come now? Saying that as soon as I land again, they disappear, isn't it? That's not doing anything. Oh, you! Phew! Right, you, have some. And you, matey, are coming with me. Over even worse headache, isn't it? Oop. Going underneath the ledge and doing that for a bit. Droopy time. And yet again, I hadn't noticed that the camera hadn't been recording. Ah! No, no, never mind. You might have missed a lot of very, very repetitive stuff. But here we go. We're, we're back again now. <sighs> No idea how much you've missed, <laughs> but it has been quite frustrating. I don't remember the game being quite so frustrating. Fun, but frustrating. I can't believe we completed this without cheating. <laughs> Stuff you used to do as kids, eh? Oh, you. Oh, you bugger. Where is it going to stick me? Where is it going to stick me? No, it could have been worse. I just want to get to the torture screen, to be honest. Phew. I wonder on the water. Oh, it's this bit anyway, so... Phew. Damn. Oh, that's him again. Right. What next? Yeah, I'll get him. There we go. weapon I've got and it's still going to take blimmin' ages. Right. If I can... That does seem to be hitting him. Okay. I don't know if that counted towards my... Uh, making a noise when I hit him. No idea if that did me any good. <laughs> I 
say you're supposed to get go in left and not destroy them. Ah, so that kills him then. Woo! Right, I'll now be wanting to. Hmm. Try the. That. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot him from back here. Yes, that's what I'm supposed to do, aren't I? Do that was stupid of me. But I'm sure that would have been a big bonus beastie. But there we go. And uh yep. and I'll almost completely miss him. Just get him. I'll get him then. I'm sure I'm supposed to jump up there and then shoot him, but I'm not going to do that. Who's going to come running at me now? Okay, I think I'll be wanting that. Oh, bloody hell. That's silly. All oh, right, we're right here. So can we get him? Come on, drop. There we go. Can I get there without? Yes, I can. And there's them gone. Hmm. So how much? How am I going to get to that beastie? That pile of beasties up ahead. Not looking forward to this now. Hmm. Because even if I stood here, he could still fire at me anyway. Um, I think that's probably my best bet, because at least it will fire across the other side. Bit of slowdown. Am I hitting anyone? Oh, balls! Oh, I thought I'd just try and get onto that side bit. Maybe I'm supposed to jump up there to the left and shoot that one in the sky first. That would probably be sensible, wouldn't it? Right. That's a start. Maybe I can now... Oh, it doesn't quite reach. Maybe from here? Oh. Well, that's not doing it. Can I do it with... Is that going to go... Yes. Take a while, but that's yeah, really going to take a while. With oh shit! Ooh. Now I think I'm going to have to let's try curly whirlies instead. They're going to take an awful long time to get to him, aren't they? Yeah, um... Let's go with the droopies again. Oh, 
they're not hitting him, are they? Oh boy, I'm going to have to get closer, aren't I? Okay, let's wait for that. Balls! That was really, really badly timed. But we've got the idea, we've got to shoot the one at the top first. Ay, ay, ay. help if you know which levels you'd be wanting what um, weapons for. So I'm just like I did, just shoot. oh I'll go for that and maybe a bit of that. Can't remember what the other weapons were now, but they're probably something that would have been very handy for getting that beastie at the end, but hey ho. Right, I'll be wanting straight forward, won't I? <coughs> Come on. Come on. Want you out of the way. Right, now. Where's the bloke on the ground got to? Did he just walk off? Hmm. on him each time now. Sometimes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on. You can tell I've sussed the pattern. Don't wait we've repeated 50,000 bloody times. No, we'll make you do it until your thumb gives out. I'm supposed to get up close to him and use my flamey flamey instead. I mean, come on, this is a level 2 flamer as well. Finally! Ha! Ah! That deserves a quick drinky drinky. Chin chin. Rescue chip as soon as possible. Right now, this is the torture chamber. You thought those previous levels were torture? You ain't seen nothing yet. Where am I? Right. Shoot him first, I think. again. That got him a bit quicker. Can we do it this way? to light it afterwards. Oh, damn. Come on, then. Let's put him. Let's light this. 
this time with that. <coughs> That's a nice spark effect, I like that. Can't be. He's well enough away from that chainsaw wielding dude. <coughs> Chip offers Clyde his collection of magic potion creatures as reward. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yes, there we go. Nice tune. Level 2.1. Well, we'll have a quick look at this. I say quick, and then we'll leave it there because I'm aware I've probably been filming well, well over half an hour now, and probably closer to an hour. But I don't know how much we've, uh, <coughs> how much you've missed on the camera, <coughs> and my throat's about to give out as well. <coughs> Let me help you, Clyde. I choose some of my magic potions. Right. Well, let's see. Let's have scatterball because we've got quite a few up there. So let's have that. Flamer. Can we get a flamer as well? Yes, we can get a flamer as well. Six, three and four. Oh, better have the four lap as well. Three, one, two. Let's double up on that one. Five or two, one, two. We can have that as well. So I think that's we've got everything. Of... Is there anything that doesn't need the blue on the right? No, we always need a blue one on the right. <coughs> oh well. <coughs> Piranha ponds. Oh goody, more water with danger. Right, so there's that. What have we got now? We've got that. Which is quite handy, I think. Okay, let's go down the bottom and get the blue one. I think it's the blue one that we want all the time. Oh yes, we've got that. So that can fly over to things and then do them no damage it would appear, so I'm just going to have to jump over him. Oh well, he was no problem. Nice one, that. Hmm. How safely can I drop down here? Now, I thought that tree was a moving sprite thing then. I'm sure there are some of those moving around at some point. We'll be having that, thank you very much. And you'll be having that. Okay, invulnerable. Lots of invulnerable ones. Can't talk now. Right, so he's invulnerable. Can I shoot up to that guy up there to get him out of the way? Can't tell if... Yes, he is dying. Oh yes, and flamey flamey as well. Hmm, that owl up there is going to do something, isn't it? I'm not going to go anywhere near it. Oh goody, that wormy was destructible. Oh, we've got that thingy up there. Can I get it? Ah, uh, no, not with an invulnerable guy up there. Let's um, shoot this guy up here. Oh, he didn't take many hits, him, did he? Where's Flamey Flamey? That's not Flamey Flamey, but it'll do. Whoa, you bugger! 
I do not like these things that suddenly fly onto the screen. And also he appears to be invulnerable. Let's get my flamer out. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll chase you back. Phew. Can I get a shot through there, do you reckon? that helped me really. from that guy to start with. There we go. Let's get my flamer out. Oh, I've turned the music off by accident. Right, so he doesn't come all the way across until you shoot him, and then he does come all the way across. Let's shoot that thing with the droopy weapon. Face the right way, Clyde. Timed my shots better. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Oh, cock! I thought I was safe from him while I was dealing with the blooming weapons. Let's use that one. Aha. Finally. Goopy ready for shooting through the rock bit. Oh, look at that, you can do it from there. Ooh. I was expecting him to move sooner. Right. Uh, there we go. I wonder if I can just... Uh, let's change to flamey. Drop down once he's gone past, I think. Phew, I'm so glad he didn't take a lot to shoot. going to come down this corridor and not give me enough time to get out of the way, unless I've already chosen the right weapon. Oh, flames from walls. Not seen that before. In this game, anyway. No! Oh, I'm very badly, then. No! But Almost did very badly, then did very badly. Well done. Are they going to come racing towards me? Yes, they are. And how about him? Let's get him through the rock. Oh, my fingers are about to give out on the joystick button. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm assuming he's shootable because <laughs> doesn't really give me enough room to jump over him. You're going in the water, matey. I know you are. Oh. Apparently not. He has other ideas. Right. Um. Can't shoot the fishies. I don't see a leaf for me to get on. Am I suddenly going to be able to go into the water? Now I can go in the water. That was that for consistency. Right. I'm going to have to jump over you, aren't I? Oh. So, still water I'm okay on. Raging rapids I'm not. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Okay. It'd be nice if I could spit, spit water like... Um, Tiki and, and uh, New Zealand story. Surprise! Gotcha. Right. Is there something in there? Yes, there is. That's nice. It that makes it a bit easier. Can I shoot into the water? Yes, I can. But he's cunningly staying far enough away that. You're kidding me. My oxygen is going to run out now, isn't it? Oh! Right, wait until Fishy's gone and then get going. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh! You ever thought Wardner was frustrating? Thing hidden in the rock there. That's him out of the way. Let's get Fishy to come along and then chase him as soon as he turns around. Oh, blinking flip. Oh, you! I'm gonna have one more go on this on this water bit, and if I don't get to this. I knocked me on the head. Because I've been playing this for I don't know how long and it's not doing my blood pressure any good, I'm sure. Damn. What's that dealt with? And you, you ugly spud. Can I get it? Just. Fishy come to about here, wasn't it? Fortunately, I can swim faster than a fishy can. Oh, you! Right, that's that then. <laughs> I'm gonna knock that on the head there. Because <laughs> I remembered creatures being very pretty and sounded nice and was good fun. I had forgotten quite how frustrating the damn was. But uh, hey, it's still the renowned Commodore 64 classic. It's just frustrating. Ah. But hey, it must be uh, alright if I've played it this long, eh? I'm going to have to tot up how long I've been playing when I upload these videos. Go, Jesus Christ, how much? Anyway, yeah, creatures on the Commodore 64. <laughs> Feel free to um, fire it up in an emulator and wait until the tune ends on the title screen and hold down Control and 2 and then plough through it bloody-mindedly like I have to see the levels that come after this, but I think I'm done for now. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta!